Hey guys, welcome back to Sherry Proof. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new, welcome. And if you are already a part of the Sherry Proof family, thank you so much for coming back. If you're not subscribed already, remember to click that button, click like, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you enjoy this content. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my travel or vacation skincare tips, the do's and don'ts, what to pack, what you need to be concerned about when it comes to traveling and skincare. So let's just get right into it. Have you ever traveled and your skin just did a 180 on you? Like you left home one way and then on your vacation or your trip, whether it's business, whatever, you notice that your skin is misbehaving or then you get back home and then it's a whole next ball game and you're wondering what's going on. That happens. That's actually quite normal, which is why what you take with you when you're traveling in terms of skincare is really important. Something that a lot of people don't consider, but I hope you will consider it after seeing this video today. There are several reasons why our skin behavior will change when we travel. So one of the main things is because there might be a change of environment or climate. So let's say you live in a tropical country like me, but then you're traveling to a more temperate country or where there is probably winter or cooler seasons, your skin will definitely behave differently. And the same is true if you're moving from a probably temperate climate and you're going to a tropical Caribbean island to have a vacation or for a business trip, the same thing can happen. The humidity in the environment that you're traveling to, especially if it's different from the humidity that your skin is usually accustomed to, can cause your skin to behave differently and all kinds of things could happen. Then something as simple as the actual trip. So if you're taking a flight, especially if it's a long flight, you're dealing with a lot of artificial air circulation systems in a plane. Then sometimes if you're moving from airport to airport or different places, you could be moving from dry heat to air conditioning to humidity. So there are a lot of things that your skin is actually facing and dealing with in a short period of time. And it is definitely going to respond to those changes. Let's not forget that there sometimes is stress when it comes to traveling, right? So things happen on your trip and that stress can trigger particular reactions in the skin. So some people who probably never get breakouts at all may notice that they break out or probably if your rosacea or your psoriasis is stress triggered, you may notice that all the time your skin was good and suddenly your skin is acting up on this trip. That could be why. So these are definitely the things that we need to consider when we are packing the skincare products that we are going to take with us on any type of trip. So just keep in mind before we go into some of the do's and don'ts and the tips that I use and that I want to share with you today, one of the things you need to consider, especially with regards to climate, so let's say that you're going to probably somewhere that's more tropical or more humid, you may want to consider changing your products, especially if you're coming from a temperate climate, to more lightweight products. I see a lot of people, especially when they're going to vacation in a tropical island, they will probably get a new moisturizer, a new sunscreen, because they know that the products that they're used to may be too heavy for the climate that they are going too and vice versa somebody like me with more oily skin in the tropical climate in which i live when i go to temperate countries or places where the humidity is way less my skin is actually a lot drier it does not produce as much oil and therefore i need to probably work with more occlusive products so now that we know we need to be a bit mindful when we're packing our skincare to travel does that mean that you need to take a whole nine yards or the whole 10, 12, 15 steps that you do, aka me? I know that some of you are not like that. So, you know, you might be saying, well, you know, Sherry, it's just two things I use. I just need to pack those two things. And that's great. But if you're like me and you probably do a really intense skincare routine because, you know, that's just part of self-care and that's what you love. You may realize very, very quickly that it is not feasible to pack all those things if you're going on a trip for just a couple of days, a week or two. So what do you do? The first thing I want you to know is that you should absolutely pack your basics. And when I say the basics, I'm talking about your cleanser, your moisturizer, and your SPF. Don't skip it at all. You want to make sure that these three things at least are a part of what you're packing for your skincare routine. Even if you are going to a more temperate climate or you are going to be experiencing winter or probably seasons like autumn, you want to make sure that you work with your SPF. SPF is still very relevant, even in those climates, even if you think you're not seeing the sun, even if it's snowing every day, UV rays reflect off snow and things like that. You definitely want to make sure that you have your SPF. Did I already tell you to work with your SPF? <laughs> 
it's that important. So even with those basics, you may need to pay a little bit extra attention just to make sure that they are applicable for what your skin might face when you travel or the environment that you're going to be in. So if you know that your skin is probably going to be drier, then your regular very lightweight gel type moisturizer may not be appropriate. If that's the only moisturizer you have, then you may want to bump it up with a facial oil. Or if you have something that's a little bit more occlusive, that might be the moisturizer that you want to take. The same thing with your sunscreen. Now is the time to probably bring out those more moisturizing sunscreens that is going to give your skin a little bit extra support if you're going in that type of climate. However, if you're going to be in a very tropical, humid climate, that's the time when you want to make sure that you have all your lightweight products, your products that could hold up better to sweat and sebum, that type of thing. Now, once you've decided on which products in terms of your basics you're going to carry, your cleanser, your moisturizer, and your SPF, what you need to do is look at your routine, look at what you've been treating your skin for and determine what are the absolute essentials because you can't carry everything <laughs> well you probably could but then that might take up a lot of space so here's what i do my vitamin c serum is non-negotiable i use that every single morning so that's definitely going with me for night my routine is usually focused on an alternation of exfoliation my acids my ahas and bhas and then my retinoids so i may not want to carry all of that so what i will do is i will do an exfoliating or more intensive peel a couple of days before i leave on my trip so that way i don't need to work with exfoliants my skin will be able to hold out in terms of exfoliation for the period and i will carry my retinoid if you are dealing with other things like hyperpigmentation melasma and there are certain products that you absolutely need in your routine to manage particular conditions let's say it's acne or whatever you want to make sure that you carry that specific treatment for your nighttime routine now of course if you can get travel sizes or sample sizes of the products that you use then that's going to be ideal you could carry as many things as you want but that might not always be possible and it may not always be possible to transfer everything to travel size containers the things that I will transfer are things like my cleanser and my moisturizers because those tend to be bulkier products and I definitely don't need all of that. So I do have a travel set in terms of bottles that are appropriate in terms of the size for traveling and I will transfer cleanser and moisturizer into those types of containers. The things that I absolutely don't transfer and I don't recommend transferring are serums, especially if they are actives because they are not only formulated in a particular way, but they are packaged in a particular way to preserve the integrity of the product and you really don't want to be messing with the effectiveness of your serums or causing some type of issue with them now of course you can get those plastic travel bottles but something else that's actually very useful for your skincare products are those contact lenses cases those are really good for holding cream products so you could actually transfer moisturizer into that and it's so tiny but it holds quite a bit of product if you are going to use those travel bottles let's say for your cleansers your body wash your shampoo or whatever always remember to put a little plastic wrap seal at the top of the bottle and then screw on the cap that's going to help prevent any leaks when you pack the product and hopefully when you get there you still have everything intact now when i'm talking about cleansing don't think i'm only talking about my water-based cleanser i am actually also including my oil-based cleanser in that step however this is one of those bulky products and this is one of the things that you actually can transfer i am a balm girl and i actually prefer cleansing balms over cleansing oils especially for travel situations because it is definitely less messy but what i will do is transfer some cleansing balm into a smaller container to take with me as opposed to carrying my huge tub you can actually do the same thing with your cleansing oil but make sure that you package that really well the next do do walk with pimple patches i am telling you when it comes to travel you never know how your skin is going to react you don't know what situation you're going to encounter that might trigger breakouts especially if you're not somebody who is prone to acne walk with pimple patches they might be a saving grace during your trip and they are so easy to use and they work pretty quickly remember that pimple patches are to be used on pimples that actually have a head or they're coming to the surface it is not for those cystic bumps that are under the skin my next tip is don't start anything new, especially active ingredients like serums and so on. You really don't want to be playing with your skin on a trip, especially because your skin is going to be dealing with so many changes and responding to those changes. You don't want to have to be dealing with some type of new irritation or new reaction from a new product that you don't understand. So in other words, stick with what you know works for you when you travel. Now, some of you might be saying, but Sherry, I don't even bother to pack my skincare because I just depend on the hotel skincare. Why? Do you know that you could be setting yourself up for more problems, especially if you are more sensitive or you have sensitive skin? Don't depend on the skincare or the products that they provide in the hotel. 
please walk with your stuff. You could just put them in smaller containers. And again, you just need to walk with your basics, especially, and you're good to go. The next tip has to do especially with if you're traveling to a tropical destination and that is don't forget your body sunscreen as well. Like a lot of people are traveling on vacations and they're going to be hitting the beach and the pool and they're going to be outside a lot. Yes, you're walking with your sunscreen for your face, but you really don't want to forget your body because that sunburn, it could be real painful. And on that same point, walk with some aloe vera gel in addition to your sunscreen. Just in case you do get some sunburn, you can start tackling it right away. That's going to soothe your skin and help it heal much faster. And while we're talking about sunscreen, don't forget your sun protective clothing. Walk with your hat, your sunglasses, that kind of thing, because you will need that extra protection. Something that a lot of people don't consider when they're traveling is that when you are in a plane, you are actually closer to the UV rays than when you're on the ground. So you want to make sure that you don't skimp at all on that sunscreen just before you get on that plane. Make sure you apply a good layer of sunscreen and a good moisturizer because the air in the plane is also going to dehydrate your skin. And as we're talking about dehydration, don't forget to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Sometimes when you travel, you actually need to be drinking a little bit more water than you're accustomed to because your body is experiencing all these changes. Don't forget that your lips also need hydration. So remember to put your lip balm, your lip mask, whatever in your purse. And if you don't have any of those things like Aquaphor and Vaseline, will absolutely save your lips. Now, some of you might be saying, Sherry, I am so accustomed to doing my masking, my treats and all of that. What can I do? One of the best things that you could walk with when you're traveling in this department are sheet masks. And this is the time I actually use them the most. Sheet masks will have some actives depending on what you choose to take with you. But in general, most sheet masks are soothing and absolutely very hydrating. So they will pack a punch in this department and they are so easy to pack. You don't have to worry about spillage. They are very lightweight. They are small and compact, easy to take with you. If you want, you could take one for every single night that you're going to be away and your skin is going to love you for it. And finally, you don't hear me talk about makeup wipes at all on this channel but this is the only time I will have makeup wipes with me well most times I actually put baby wipes and that's just in case of an emergency I keep that with me in terms of skincare in my carry-on just in case there is some delay or something happening where I need to be able to remove makeup or remove what's on my face or something like that I will have baby wipes and that's the emergency purposes only this is not something that I do all the time but in this case, it's actually better than nothing. Guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope that these tips were helpful. What do you do when you're traveling? What do you pack in terms of skincare? I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. Do you take your whole shindig? Do you just take the basics? Do you carry everything in full bottles? Do you try to repackage everything? <laughs> Definitely hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys another time. Take care. Bye.